Hello, my name is Sharita Sims Binion. I was born August the 14th, 1943 in East St. Louis, Illinois. At the age of five, my family moved to Detroit where my father landed a job in the Fleetwood plant located on West End and 4th Street in Southwest Detroit. I attended the Detroit Public Schools first through 12th grade, graduating from Chaz Technical High School January 20th, 1961, and became a matriculating student at Wayne State University February the 9th, 1961. That's correct, I only had two and a half weeks off from a high school senior until a college freshman. As an African-American student at Wayne State University in the early 60s, it was very interesting. I felt welcome, I felt cared for, and I enjoyed my classes. I came to attend Wayne State University because I was number five of seven children in my family. The four older ones were already in college and my parents told me, you're not going to be able to go away, we can't afford it. And I was blessed enough to receive a scholarship to Wayne State U and many of my friends were also attending. So what I thought in the beginning was a defeat turned out to be a great victory because I enjoyed all my years at Wayne State University. I was born in December of 1962, which meant I was born maybe two months prior to Shalitha attending Wayne State as a freshman. In our family, there are three brothers, which include myself, and four sisters, which of course includes Shalitha. And my sister Valerie and myself, we were the youngest. I'm the baby and my sister Valerie is four years older than I am. And that meant that all our other brother and sisters had already moved away from home to start their lives. And Shalitha was the only older sibling that was at home because she stayed at home while she commuted to Wayne State. I felt that I received a really outstanding education because after my graduation, I was offered many jobs, and each job that I have had through my life, I have been able to excel in my field of study. And I decided in the middle of my sophomore year that I was going to pledge Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, where I did, and I enjoyed every moment of it. I decided to become a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated because I felt that their five-point programmatic thrust was for me. They believed in public service, social action, educational development, mental and physical health, and international awareness, all things that I was most interested in and have remained that way 50 years later. One of my really outstanding events was at Wayne State University was in 1963. As a pledge of Delta Sigma Theta, we were required to line up on Woodward and we did not know that we were about to participate in a freedom march. And Dr. Martin Luther King was gonna march with us and give an address at the end. That truly is one of my highlights of my college days. And then later on in my senior year, I had an unbelievable event. The United Foundation selected me as the first African-American Miss Torchy. And as a Miss Torchy, I had to become an ambassador for the United Foundation for three months. My dean of my college, the president of Wayne State U, they contacted all my instructors and informed them that I had their permission to miss class, I couldn't be charged for being tardy, and plus I received a full professional wardrobe from J.L. Hudson, which was very outstanding as I was a graduating senior and was going to be soon join in the job market. And my major, and later I received my graduate degree in Library or Information Science Media Center.